the Hillsborough families were measured in their reaction. We've got today everything we could have asked for. The decisions by the CPS, in my opinion, were correct and are correct. Um, and we look forward to the due process through the court of law. And in Parliament too, the significance of this milestone for the families was recognised. Obviously today will be a day of really mixed emotions for them. But I welcome the fact that charging decisions have been taken. I think that is an important step forward. The causes and effect of what happened at Hillsborough are now a matter of record. With minutes to go before the start of a cup semi-final match, police opened an access gate allowing Liverpool football supporters to flood into the stadium. The resulting crush killed 96 people. The youngest of them was just 10 years old. In the immediate aftermath, the police said fans had been drunk and had rushed the gates. The first inquest in 1991 returned a verdict of accidental death. It was a narrative typical of the times. In the 1980s, problems with football hooligans meant all British football fans were treated as potential troublemakers and policed harshly. The establishment was very firmly on the side of the police and Liverpool, with its hard-left Labour Council, could expect little support from the right-wing Conservative government in London. But the relatives never gave up, and after a 27-year campaign for justice, they were vindicated when a new inquest jury with new evidence gave a verdict of unlawful killing and laid the path for these criminal charges now to be brought. The six to be charged include this man, the police commander, David Duckenfield, who gave the order for the access gate to be opened. He is facing a charge of manslaughter by gross negligence. Once again, the Hillsborough families showed the dignity and determination which has sustained them over so many years of campaigning. And there are no winners in this. You know, it doesn't bring anybody back from the disaster. But what it does do, it sends a message out of accountability, as we keep saying, that nobody but nobody is above the law, be it the police or anybody else. And so, you know, any organisation, and we all know, you know, Grenville Towers and all these other things, that watch out because families will come after you if you don't do your jobs properly. I think we all need peace from Hillsborough, but we can yeah. never have peace until we've got truth, mm. justice, accountability. Yeah. I think that's the time we'll all have peace. Securing charges against six defendants is a testament to the tenacity of the Hillsborough families. Their struggle is not over, but they are sticking together until they get justice for the 96. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Warrington.